Annabella Jolie and I wanted to vlog this trip and right now it's Saturday August 4th at 11 p.m. and I have no idea where I'm going on this trip so a little background I'm gonna try to shorten it I travel standby my dad used to be a flight attendant so we get free flights very fortunate very happy about it like I know that it's how I've been so lucky to travel to so many amazing places, but when we travel standby, we only get on the flight if there are open seats. We went to the airport today at 5 p.m. and we had tried to go to San Francisco and then we were going to connect and go to Australia. We had the whole trip planned out. We had a hotel booked. The booking levels looked so good. It looked like 50 open seats a few days ago and then today it was oversold and we did not make it on the flight and chances look even worse tomorrow so we came home from the airport we haven't slept much last night we were preparing for the trip i just got ready for bed and i'm so tired so i can barely speak and i you can tell i look so tired but bear with me so we had to come up with a whole new plan we were looking at flights to everywhere. It looks better going east than west. I'm from Pittsburgh and United is where we fly standby on and their hub is in Newark. So we're waking up early tomorrow morning to fly from Pittsburgh to Newark because the flights earlier in the morning, we have a better chance of getting on to Newark. And then we're not flying anywhere until at least 5.30 p.m. It depends where we get on from Newark. So I'll be in the airport probably all day tomorrow watching some Netflix on my phone and reading in the airport but um so traveling standby yes there are the downfalls you might not end up somewhere but like I feel like I've just learned to be so much more open-minded to new experiences and not having I am a planner I love to plan but like you have to be willing to change your plan you know I had planned out everything I wanted to do in Australia you have to be willing to go with the flow and find new adventures so I'm excited to see where we'll end up it'll be fun to be with my parents and just have fun in a foreign country eat some good food see some new places so I'm excited to see where we'll end up and I'll keep you posted so it's about 4 30 p.m. on August 5th and I've been in this airport for about the past eight hours and we still have two more hours until we see what flight we're getting on. It's looking like either Italy, we try to go to Milan and Amalfi Coast, or Spain where we try to go to Barcelona and maybe Ibiza because I've been to Italy and Spain but I haven't been to those parts of the country so it'll still be fun and get to see new places. We've been eating and drinking coffee, and I've been watching some Black Mirror and reading, and then eating some more and <laughs> drinking more coffee, but hopefully we'll be on a flight soon, and I'll be able to sleep, and I'll let you know where we end up. to Milan, Italy, which I'm really happy about, but now we're at the hotel and we just got ready and we're going to go explore, we're going to go explore Milan a little bit today. It's, I think it's about noon. We didn't sleep that much, but how I like to do it is just push through, push through the first day being tired so that then you can wake up the next day adjusted to the time change. And for my outfit, I'm wearing this tube top from Victoria's Secret and these pants, they're from Brandy Melville. It's 90 degrees and sunny, so I'm gonna be super hot, but I wanted to wear this outfit. And yeah, I'm excited. <laughs> Vado a, vado a salutare, si dice? Sí. dice saluta al nuovo uomo di Uber. Uh, io in, uh, nella mia casa in, negli Stati Uniti, uno o due bottiglie di Amarone, uh, anche...
this is the Duomo. So beautiful. This is called the Galleria del Victor Emanuele Due. Navilie. It's a zona navilie. And I think it's got to be navilie, like navigatable. La zona navilie. It's 9 p.m. We just napped and then came to this nice part of Milan by this canal. And we're ready to eat some dinner and then get some gelato. pasta carbonara and I tried some of my parents pizza and it was so good but I didn't film it and we had wine So this was going to be my outfit because it's super hot out, but apparently we're going to a church first, so I'm going to change into long jeans. Ce que vous avez mangé nous semble très délicieux et c'est ce que nous cherchons avant à commander le nom de la pizza. La pizza. supposed to buy tickets to see the last supper like a month in advance but we got one ticket for me since my parents already saw it so oh. I got to see it oh, uh, um, and I got hey, wait, wait. souvenirs the owner of this shop outside of the last supper church handmade this little notebook it's really cute it's not lined Boom. And a last supper pack. Hi. 
Arabiata means angry. Oh, so he said Arabiata. I said, no, no, I'm not mad, I'm happy. And Annabelle, yes, I would love you to try a piece of my Arabiata. What is it? Lemoncello. Lemoncello, like Limoncello. we had in um, Venice. Sure. In Venice. Lei le può uh, mettere 20 qui per lei? Non ce l'hai, Cass? Oh, it's recording, just point it on us. Dad, your finger's right over there. Alright, we'll start off with the cheers. <laughs> okay. Are you going to drink it? Cheers. Well, Dad has to drink it with us. Do it again. <laughs> oh, wow. We know who wins that round. I couldn't do it. <laughs> My own daughter beat me. <laughs> and Bella, you scare me. <laughs> right. If it's still on, come on, I'll try to do it. You're still on? Go ahead. You scare me. <laughs> Bene. <laughs> arrived in Verona. I just went to the bathroom to do my makeup in like five minutes so I barely have any on and I'm already sweating but look how pretty this town is. We're here for one day so we'll see as much as possible. in all of Italy. So far, Verona is really pretty, like unlike any other city in Italy. Around Juliet's balcony was the most crowded, but 
All the other side streets are really empty and nice for pictures. And it's really hot, but the shade helps a lot. Across that bridge and now we're up here after a lot of steps at a really pretty viewpoint. Walking down a street in Italy and just happening to find Brandy Melville. Deja Not the vu. First time, isn't it? Yeah. yeah, put some oil in there. Pasta and carbonara. Many years? 140 years before Columbus even thought about going to America, before there was an America. He we, we went in 1494. We slept through our alarm, but we made it to Lake Garda for lunch. <laughs> Mom, don't hide your face. We made it to Lake Garda. We're trying to find Jamaica Beach, which is supposed to be the best beach. And we're walking a lot and sweating, but it's a really pretty town. <laughs> <laughs> 